you and Dwayne, I think were like two people I definitely looked up to a lot when I'm trying to figure out the blueprint for my did ca say that. career that didn't exist. Um, Dwayne, especially my idol dudes in his own universe, my hero, like in his own universe, that the universe, he like, was doing it. And, and, and to the highest degree, I wanted to be like Dwayne. So eventually in the same way I met you today, one day I met Dwayne, he was just as cool in person as I thought he was on TV. He was, he's awesome. Made content together, went mega viral, 70 million views, 50 million views, linked up a couple times, um, visited him on set of ballers. Like I would have considered us acquaintances at least, you know? Kind of like uh, me and Dua Lipa. Kind of like you and Dua Lipa. <laughs> maybe, maybe even closer, dude. I would say closer. Closer. I would say closer. Um, we're just, we're just coworkers. He was just great. And then, um, fuck. Um, and then Japan happened. Japan happened. And, you know, I could go into so much depth about my remorse and the place that I was in and the faults that I made at that time in my life. And I had to really rewire my brain and backtrack and ask myself like how I let that happen and what went wrong in my life where like I thought that was okay. And in that process, I did a lot of damage. And it wasn't something that was on the forefront of my mind and I've had to do a tremendous amount of therapy and figure out like what happened in my life that was so traumatic or didn't happen where I, again that I did that and um DJ was one of the people I hurt because of his mother's um experience and that that's his experience to tell and I'm not going to share it, but like I I I I hurt him so much so that um he he basically wanted nothing to do with me and rightfully so you know i i let down my hero and he requested that i remove all the content we've ever done together and basically kicked me to the curb i would have done the same thing guy in his position doesn't want to be affiliated with a person who did uh something as reprehensible as that and i remember it being such a low moment because like I knew I let myself down. I knew I let my fans down. I knew I let my family down. But my idol too. Man, it just stunk so bad. And it wasn't like I got the call from him. Got it from the publicist. Mm. And it's not like he did anything wrong. It's just like, I think my ego told myself that I'm gonna fucking remember that. And if I ever become a great one day like you, I'm gonna remember this. And I'm gonna remember the way I was discarded. And again, rightfully so. Um, but I, I don't think I've ever re been really able to like truly let go of that. And uh, I, I got a lot of stuff to work through, I think, in, in, in terms of that. And I'm not even sure like where to go from here in terms of reconciliation um yeah i don't know and we're kind of like swimming in the same world a little bit you know with the wwe and i i see him coming back here and there and i know we're gonna cross paths and i just wonder how i'm gonna handle it if i may with an anecdote you told me a story earlier today about one of the toughest times in your in your recent life where your fiance was put in a position that made her uncomfortable and you uncomfortable by a certain human being. And you needed to keep your sanity about you and not let your emotions take over. Do you remember this story? Mm. What did you do? Forgave him. Okay. What I'm hearing is you you made a poor decision and uh, you had to be accountable for that poor decision. You are, you're not alone. We've all done that. And in the process, you were very hurt by someone that you cared about. And I see your lens, this is what I'm hearing. You understand that it might not have been as impactful for him as it was for you, but it really got to you. I'm not neither right or wrong, it's just my two cents, take it or throw it back. 
I think it starts with your ability to forgive. And if you can get yourself to a place where you honestly can say, I forgive, then I think you can begin the foundation to move forward. You don't have to, I'm not saying forget, forgiveness and uh, forgetfulness are two different things. But I think if you can bring yourself to a position where you can forgive someone, you can begin to move forward. That's just my perspective. I totally agree. I think I have an ego problem. It's, it's like, okay, kind of hard. It's I don't know why. It's like like I don't know. It I can't do it without having a conversation with him. That's I think part of this puzzle. And like I don't know if I'm ready for that. To to be honest with you, and you don't have to be. Forgiveness has to come on your own terms, dude. It, it's it's here. It'll it'll come. I have nothing against Dwayne. He didn't make any wrong decisions. It was all me. I think part of it is I fucking hate myself for letting him down. And it's like that anger that I have, even just against myself, was turned into this drive that I told myself I'm gonna I'm gonna be so successful that I don't need your approval or validation or acquaintanceship. I'm 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 gonna do this on my own with or without you by my side. Okay, that's very fair. But if you can say to me that you were hurt because you let him down, why can't you say that to him? What, will, have, you, what have you got just, to lose? I, I will. I have to have the conversation with him before I fully close this loop. I can't just say it right now. I need I, to- No, I understand that, but you just said it to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, I mean, I, I applaud you for being able to share all this, because by the way, that, that's deep. That's deep work. Uh, but I think you just starting there. Yeah. I was, I was wrecked because I let you down, man. Yeah. That, that, and I don't, I don't mean to take, minimize Dwayne's role in the situation, but let's take him and substitute your dad or someone else that, uh, you, that you look up to. Yeah. You being able to find the strength to say, I know I let you down and that gutted me, man. That's okay. Yeah. Hey guys, if you like that clip, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see more zany clips, click the video right here. <laughs>